Good afternoon, everybody from Epcot. Today is special. It is December 5th, which means Luminous, the brand new nighttime spectacular, is debuting here out on the lagoon. Also, World Celebration has gone ahead and opened up. And on top of that, it's Walt's birthday. So there's a lot happening here at Epcot today. We're gonna try and do everything in this video. I might have to split it up into two just to kind of make sure that you guys can see everything happening here. But either way, let's waste no more time. Let's get inside. Now obviously it is very busy as we see the monorail out in the distance there because a lot of people are coming here to check out the show, to see World Celebration. The walls are finally down. Nicole and I moved here last July and those walls have been up since then and they were there before then even. So this is going to be very exciting to finally see what Epcot looks like without those walls in a very, very long time. I am seeing a lot of Disney executives here right now and if you guys want to make sure to see all of our future Disney content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I see no walls. This is going to be amazing. Now I do want to preface this, I'm probably going to do a lot of long takes so you guys can kind of see what I'm seeing. I feel like if I snip it too much then you're not really going to get that real feel. But typically when you come right here, there are walls that are blocking it off. This is all open at this point. So now we are going to go and walk through. I believe that line right there is probably for the Walt statue. I'll show it to you here as we are heading in. So again, if you just hear me walking and you get the ambiance, it's because I just want to show you exactly what this feels like, what it seems like here. Now that it is all open again, which is incredible. Let me go ahead and show you the Walt statue nonetheless. Take a look at that. That is awesome. Now again, the lines for that are going to be quite long, especially for today, considering it is Walt's birthday. That is something you have to keep in mind. But geez, this is incredible. It's so big. It's so open. I love to see it. So much seating. Wow. The music is blasting, and I'm sure you guys can hear that right now. But I want you to hear that. I want you to feel and be able to kind of live vicariously through this video right now on what we're seeing out here because it's just amazing to finally have this open. I mean, it looks a little generic, I'm not going to lie to you, but I mean, that's fine. As of right now, I just love that it is, you know, a lot of people are moving through here, I should say. You know, at this point, it's just people existing, walking through. You can walk around. Massive, massive, massive. Wow. What is over this direction? Let's go see. Looks like we have some photo pass people. We have a little blip of them over there as well. You can see the backside of Communal Core Hall. Looks like some big tree structures here of some sort. I bet you at night this is going to light up. I also might have to take a few little breaks here and there. I don't want my camera to overheat, though it is pretty chilly here tonight. Lots of seating all over the place. I mean, Epcot needed this. I feel like so many people just like stood around, especially if you were eating, anything like that. Also, this feels a little barren though. I wonder if they'll end up adding tables. Maybe they'll do character meet and greets in here. This looks beautiful. Let's go ahead go over to the other side now. And if I'm not mistaken, this is where, right in front of us is where the fountain once resided. It's no longer here. You know, I feel like I would like to see a fountain. You know, I don't know if I saw it long, long ago. That's something I just don't remember being a kid. But since we've been down here, obviously this has been all blocked off. It's so weird to see like creations over there as we're standing in the middle. Wow, all the flowers. I mean, it looks great. It looks like you've got seating here. A lot of people taking photos, videos, everything. It looks like a lot more seating inside of here. Let's go check this out. And here you go, more seating, tons of seating, holy cow, incredible. Oh wow, is it outlets right here? Let's go take a look. Oh, I like this like kind of two-tone, so you have like the wooden panels and then you've got like the concrete, a little bit of contrast. The trees are here with the plants, it smells very fresh in here. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these panels here. So USB chargers, so I think if you've got a USB, 
Yep. Oh, I think you gotta like pull them down. Let's see. So you've got USB-C, USB. Okay, so two USBs, two USB-Cs. No lightning cables, it doesn't look like, as far as the one end. But I think lightning cables on the one end are just USBs anyway. Okay, so they're all pretty much the same as what it looks like. Wow, you've got them down there too. They are everywhere. This is awesome. I love that there is this giant area to come relax. I feel like this makes it feel like that community, right? And it feels like people just exist in here, like if you're in a neighborhood. Now, I don't know if that's what they're going for or if they wanted to keep it kind of generic because it definitely looks pretty generic overall, right? I mean, I feel like this is something you might see like at a nice like restaurant outside or you know maybe like, I, I don't even know, like a nice hotel or something. You know, I feel like sometimes like the bars, out, outdoor bars or whatever, kind of look like this. So I'm not seeing a ton of like Disney touch to it necessarily, but it looks amazing. And again, it, it very much makes you feel like you're like living in this community. A lot of people, I mean, people on their computers and their phones. I mean, we could just like sit right here. We could work, we could edit our videos right here on a laptop. I don't actually have a laptop that I edit on. I edit on a desktop, but if I wanted to, I could. Let's take a look communal core hall here we can see some of those plates getting put in place I think that's gonna look really good I think it'll end up matching the design of the ball so you can see the ball right here and kind of one frame we can see both of them so that'll look pretty awesome these lights definitely look modernistic this is definitely something that I think we really needed here at Epcot and again I'm just doing one big take for you, I guess a few big takes, just because I want you guys to be able to, again, experience this like I am right now, which I feel is amazing. All right, let's go see if there's anything else that we kind of missed. I see these pillars. I feel like we were pointing these out before at one point. Oh, look at the size of that bench. I feel like you could feed a whole family on that table. A little Thanksgiving dinner. Maybe we'll have to do that one year. Thanksgiving at Epcot and bring a feast, hang out there. Probably some good photo ops up here. Like I said, that line for the Walt statue is massive. But I think this is just about it now that I'm looking at it. You see all these lights. Again, I think at nighttime this is gonna look incredible as well. Really looking forward to it. We do still see some construction walls out that way. And I think that's gonna be pretty typical stuff happening over there. Maybe we'll go venture out that way. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a thumbnail really quick. But either way, this is World Celebration. Wide open now. Like I said, feels like a community. Every bit of it. And I love to see it. All right, now that we've done a lot of the long takes, what I'll go ahead and do is maybe try and find some snippets here and there so we can kind of dig in a little bit of everything I'm seeing. Like I said, some of those kind of charging ports were kind of unique, so we'll see if there's anything like that. So we'll do a little bit more short-term parts of the video now, but now that you guys have gotten to experience kind of the long kind of walkthrough, let's go ahead and see any of the small details maybe we missed. So I didn't really come over here for the seats, but it's kind of nice, these like wooden ones, very large by the way, I mean you can see, I mean, my back on the wall, my feet don't touch the ground and I'm six foot tall, so these are very long seats here. Looks like we have some more charging ports over here. Let's go take a look at those. So these right here are more charging ports if you actually lift it up. These ones you can actually plug in like a laptop or something into. They have like the full blown outlet access, but there are no USB-Cs on this one. So just regular USBs, and then again, you have regular outlets. So some have the USB-Cs, some do not. Some more tables over here. And like I said, the ones that are like attached inside of that little corridor, those actually have USB-Cs. These ones, like I said, do not. And then again, you have some like elevated tables, some like concrete slab here, more seating. Love to see that again. I mean, I feel like you can't find a place around here without a place to sit. And then I feel like the charging is like super accessible right now. I guess here is the front, by the way. As you can see, Spaceship Earth there in the background. Beautiful sight. Obviously that is what they were looking to do with this. Great photo op opportunity. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this looks like at night and I will make sure to have you guys see that 
music coming out, lots of speakers it looks like right up front here. I want to see what these plants look like because these look relatively fresh. So I wonder if in, you know, maybe a year or two, this is really blooming with plants and it's very like overgrown and just looks amazing. I don't know if it'll beat the fountain. I feel like a lot of people do miss that fountain here, but we'll have to see. Even just like around the corner over here, we have more seating. And it's just like, I mean, if you can't find a place to sit anymore, I don't know what to tell you. We've got garbage cans. Again, a lot of open areas too, which I'm wondering if that's gonna be more character meet and greets or if that's just for kind of moving space, trying to pull this whole like community vibe together. A lot of these trees still even have their like kind of stands there and their little like supports because I think they are still pretty new. You know, this is still a pretty fresh tree. I think this thing is gonna get massive over here. A lot more like relaxing type chairs, as you can see, kind of like the big loungers, more tables, kind of like this like box style seat that you can go ahead and sit on, more of a bench. You got the ramps over there. And this is the weirdest part because this has like not been existent for so long. We're just gonna walk out of World Celebration, come right up here to Creations and Connections. But I do also wanna point out more seating right over there to our left. So much seating, I cannot explain it. I mean, there is definitely a nice place to come and relax. Here's the World Celebration sign. You can see Club Cool, Restrooms, World Discovery straight ahead, Creation Shop. It says it's to the right, I guess, technically, is it's right here. Connections there, right to the left. And then World Showcase right over there. And you can see the signage here, World Celebration, right along the edge. Here's some more of the backside construction to Communicore Hall here. Definitely a lot of work that still needs to be done. I don't think we are very close to this yet. So this is kind of like the ramp that you have out. So you can come straight out and you will head right in to World Showcase. This is crazy how close you are to World Showcase at this point as you are existing in. I mean, I know it seems so like minute or like trivial in some aspects, but like, you would have to walk all the way around and like you were just like blocked by walls the entire time. Granted, I guess right next to us are more walls, to be fair, for Communicore Hall, but now you can just like walk right in, right behind Spaceship Earth and just walk through the community and right down, right into World Showcase. Very, very nice. We see some lights here. Again, you would spit out like on the other side of this. Like this was not exposed by the way. Like this was all covered up, just so you know, like this whole area was covered. So this is all still new where we are walking right now. Also more benches right there. It would come out right in front of this like planter section up here. That is where the wall used to go. Now again, completely open. Now again, this entire video was focused mostly on World Celebration over here, and we have another video that is completely focused on the Luminous Show. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You guys can go ahead and check that video out. I'll have it linked in the comments below for you. But again, there's so much to look at here for World Celebration, and then with Luminous, again, I think we wanna just focus completely on that because we don't want to take anything away but a lot has happened here today for December 5th kind of an iconic day here at Epcot in all reality world celebration Walt's birthday and then luminous the brand new show I'm really hoping that that is gonna be a nice show just because we really liked again harmonious we didn't love Epcot forever maybe because we didn't start with that one and we started with harmonious but because they're doing the barges they're gonna leave they're gonna come in and that whole concept I think it's gonna be a really really good show you can see all of the lights down there, up by the garden there. And we'll go down there and we'll check it out in just a second. But you can see so many different colors. Kind of reminds me of my shirt right now. This was for Epcot 40th and they kind of have these colors going on. It kind of reminds me of the colors we're seeing down there, at least a little bit. So you have the lights now behind us that are lighting up as well as the ball. So you're gonna have a great shot as we are standing right in front of the Walt statue right now. Crazy special moment right now. So that was pretty cool to be like in front of the Walt statue there while the Epcot ball is going off, the music all around you, the show here, down here by like the little garden portion. That was like, I don't know, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity it's nothing like that crazy, but like the amount of time that we spend here at Disney 
and to be able to experience something like that, truly like breathtaking. It was really cool, almost like serene in its own sort of way. And here are those lights I was telling you about down here. So you've got some green, some like peach, some red, pink, more red over there. All the lights on the pillars, they do light up like we were originally wondering. It looks so good. Now what a better way to close the video out in the dark, unfortunately, here inside of World Celebration. December 5th, what a day. We have the lights all around us. We have the ball in the background, I guess, to you guys now that you can see. And make sure, if you guys haven't yet, to check out the Luminous video that will be in the comments below. You guys can go check that one out. But what an awesome day. We will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys had fun tagging along with us today. Take care.